Hey everybody, this is Brandon, and in today's AutoCAD video, I'm going to answer another viewer question. Uh, today's question was, how would I create a wavy line in AutoCAD? I'm going to show you a couple different kinds of wavy lines, depending on what you mean. But uh, to get started, I'm going to show you how to create a line like this. So to start, we're going to start with a polyline or a PL line. So type in PL and hit enter and then it asks you for your start point. Now I'm going to hit A for arc after you've selected your start point and hit enter. And I'm also going to hit S for second point and this creates the second point of the arc. So you can see our start point here. My second point is going to be up here or down here depending on where you want your arc. So I'm going to go down here and then it's going to finish wherever you click. So I'm just going to click right here so now when I continue to the right, it's going to automatically do these curves for me. So I'm going to make them 200 units long. And you can do this inconsistently, like make one 200 and one 50 and one 100, depending on what you want your line to look like, or you can keep them all the same. Like this, 200, 200, 200, etc. So that's one way to create a wavy line, um, depending on how you're, you want your drawing to look. That could be one way. Another way to do a sort of wavy line is to use the revision cloud. You don't have to use a revision cloud like they're made for, and I'm going to show you what I mean here. So when you start the command, it asks you for your start point, but I'm going to change the arc length first so that it looks right on our scale. So I'm going to hit A, and the minimum length of the arc is 80. Well, this is about 50 here, so I want it to be a little bigger, so I'm going to say 150 is the minimum length of the arc, and the maximum we'll say is 250, or 200. Now we can specify a start point. So select somewhere, and just drag in the direction you want to go, and when it gets to the minimum, it'll create an arc. Now the only thing with revision clouds is the arcs tend to stay on the same side. Uh, you can flip directions, but you can't go alternating as far as I know. But you can continue up, and it'll draw as you go in an arc. When you're done, hit enter, and it'll ask you if you'd like to reverse it. So if you'd like all of those arcs flipped, simply hit yes, or Y for yes, and it flips them all. So there you've got two different ways to draw a weird kind of wavy line without having to create a custom line type, which can be a bit time consuming for a one-off line. Or if you just like to like the look and you want an arc that uh, will continue around a corner like this. Let me know if you like this by uh, hitting the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, check out my videos. And if you have any questions of your own in AutoCAD, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I can. Cheers and thanks for watching. Hey everybody, this is Brandon here and in today's video I'm going to do another viewer's question. And today's question is how do you make changes or additions in one viewport that do not show up in another?